We have Rob Elvington joining us this morning. Rob, it was a bit foggy out there this morning. Not a lot of rain, though, fortunately. Yeah, thankfully, we've got dry conditions, still some damp roads, but it's mostly the fog, the low clouds that we're concerned about for that first morning commute of the work week. Uh, sunrise actually happening right now, but of course, you can't see it as we look off to the east because of the low clouds, the dense fog. Not too bad. Most of this is hanging a couple hundred feet off the ground, but visibility is still down to about a mile and a third for Decatur. 66 degrees in most of North Alabama in the mid to upper 60s here at the 6 o'clock update. Out of the bus stop this morning, again, not seeing much in the way of rainfall, and even for the kids heading home from school later today, the chances for showers and storms pretty low, especially closer to 3 o'clock. If we're going to see some showers and storms today, it's going to be closer to this evening and late tonight. Highs right around 80 with some sunshine breaking through. Again, we are dry on the way 31 storm tracker early warning radar network. Had a few showers earlier this morning, but those have since died out, and all the widespread rain remains off to our south and southeast, and yeah, we're keeping a close eye on Talladega right there. Still a few lingering showers, but at least all that heavy rain from overnight has now pushed off to the east into Georgia. So we'll see if we can get that race in here closer to the early afternoon. Over the next three days, today is somewhat of the lull in the heavy rainfall. Take advantage of today because we are expecting that heavy rain to move in just after midnight tonight, all the way through Tuesday and Wednesday. And because of all the heavy rain expected, the National Weather Service has issued a flash flood watch that goes into effect at 1 a.m. tomorrow morning. So just after midnight tonight, and it's in effect all the way through 1 a.m. Thursday. So basically all day Tuesday and all day Wednesday with still some lingering rain even into your Thursday. Primary threats, of course, heavy rainfall that brings that risk of flooding of creeks and streams, but also flash flooding. And that's why, again, flash flood watch is in effect. Thankfully, we are not expecting severe weather. There will be some embedded thunderstorms, but it's mostly a gusty wind threat and a lightning threat, especially at school dismissal time. Future radar, this is 7 o'clock this morning, doing a pretty good job with what we've seen so far this morning, and it takes until about 4 o'clock this afternoon to get a few pop-ups, mostly east of I-65, closer to places like Scottsboro, Gadsden, and we continue to slowly see the radar filling in by 8 o'clock this evening, again, mostly east of I-65. Now watch this, 8 o'clock tonight, through the overnight hours, we're starting to see that first big surge of heavy rainfall with embedded thunderstorms moving in around sunrise and unfortunately for that Tuesday morning commute. So go ahead and start thinking about tomorrow. How are you going to get the kids to school? How are you getting to work? And it just continues through lunchtime tomorrow with a lot of that rainfall kind of pivoting back to the west and northwest. So even the shoals getting in on some of that rainfall through your Tuesday afternoon and Tuesday evening. There you go. You can see the next one setting up by late tomorrow night. That's just Tuesday. We're going to have to go through another round of that on Wednesday into Thursday morning. And this is the rainfall forecast, and we could easily uh, outperform this. You'll notice this red right here on the map that makes it up to about Fort Payne. That's three to three and a half inches of rainfall. Lower totals closer to the shoals, close to about an inch to an inch and a half. And this is a look at Wednesday. Again, this is that next round coming in through Wednesday morning, Wednesday afternoon. Look at the big surge of rainfall from out of the south and southeast. A lot of that east of I-65 on top of already saturated conditions. So some big flood threats for areas closer to Jackson to Cap and even Madison County. A look at your Sunday forecast 80 today, back down to the mid 70s for your Tuesday and Wednesday. Just too much rain and cloud cover to make it out of the mid 70s. But the rain chances do drop off to the day on Thursday and into Friday. So it looks like we should be able to get those football games in. It will be a soggy football field, but at least it'll be drying out. And then look at the weekend. We'll deserve it after this work week. Highs back up to the low 80s with mostly dry conditions and mostly sunny skies. All right. Well,